Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I have brought a session on Web UI automation using Python. So here I will show you how you can uh, push posts uh, to your profile as well as you can send the same post to your multiple groups. Normally you guys will do manually like you will uh, write some post in your uh, uh, in your profile as well as so you will be set, uh, writing the same post in the groups. So with this uh, Python automation uh, what you can do is like uh, at the same time uh, whenever the uh, post is getting uh, pushed to your profile page or timeline the same post will be pushed to the multiple groups that has been uh, defined by you. So for uh, performing this activity you need to have a selenium module installed in your system as well as uh, you need to download a web chrome driver. Uh, so if you are not aware of this uh, you can uh, see my previous video in the link and uh, the link is flashing on the screen you can see the previous video for getting the for how to download the web chrome driver based on a chrome version as well as like how you can inspect the elements uh, different elements right how you can inspect it so those uh, things you can get it from my previous video so now here i will sh okay this is how the, you can inspect right say like i want to find this what's on your mind so i want to write a post here so I click it over here so this you can find by id class or you can go by xpath or you can go by the text name so various way we can find the, the element on the web page so you can refer it in my previous video for getting more clarity so today i will not go in depth of all the stuffs so i will just show you how you to write the post at your profile as well as uh, the same post to be pushed to your multiple groups come to the script so here is the script and uh, so we'll be importing couple of modules and then couple of action uh, like classes and then uh, we'll be starting with uh, defining variable chrome options the so web chrome driver web driver that chrome options then we'll be setting some preference preferences then chrome options are experimental preferences here then browser equal to web chrome driver we will be calling the driver and uh, first thing is like the text the post so once uh, the chrome, chrome driver is getting initialized then it will be looking for the post so you need to enter the post what you want to type over there next is like a list so this is a list format where you will uh, be getting all your group uh, like uh, links so here you need to put all your group links here so based on that based on that is uh, like defined group links it will the post will be pushed to the multiple groups okay the next line what it will do is like browser.get so it will open your facebook.com and then it will wait for five seconds then based on the user id password it will look for the element by email id and then it will uh, enter your user id whatever you are uh, putting over here the similarly uh, next thing is in the password part after that it will click the login button once that is done it will refresh the page after that it will look for the text right i said right contains text on your mind so it will look for this particular text on your mind so it's gone so it what's on your mind so it's like what's on your mind so i put like contents text so it will look for this particular element and then perform a click option so once it performs a click option right so will this particular window will open so here what i'm gonna do is like i will right away start typing i will start typing at keyboard.send kiss the post whatever the uh, text you will be uh, writing in the post here so the same thing will get uh, typed over there and then uh, it will have 10 tabs so this is like nothing like we are pressing 10 tabs and then pressing an enter key this okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten post and then it will press enter so it will get post here once it is done here then what it will do next step step what it will gonna do is like it will wait for 10 seconds after one first post is done on a profile pic profile page then it will loop for the group uh, list items so what are the list items you have put over here right the links so it will loop over those links so what it's gonna do is like browser.get items so each link it will go for it, it, it will open each link then next is like it will find that particular uh, text so in this case in the groups you will be finding something called write something so uh, it will be searching with write something and then the end then it will enter the same post over there 
and then it will go for the same tab 9 so this time it will look for tab 9 9 times it will press the tabs and then enter key so this is how it will loop okay so let's see how the, the execution is part is done So it is it is initialized the web chrome driver now it will look for the post so that we need to enter here it says type your post here say hello python now let's see so it is redirected to facebook page So it got logged in. So first thing is like it's creating a post over here. Okay, it says hello Python, and then it will go for tab nine. 10 times tab, sorry first time is like uh, 10 tabs so it is done for the first post now will it will redirect to the other groups so the two groups uh, IDs uh, links I have mentioned over there so it is going to the first group so group is test one so it is posting for the first group now it will redirect for the to the second group this is if you see here nicely it's test hyphen one or test underscore one so now it is redirecting to the second group that is test underscore two post Yeah, here you go so this is so simple right instead of manually going and uh, say like uh, if you have multiple groups say like uh, you want to publish your post to multiple groups say like 10 to 15 groups it's very difficult to manually go to the groups and then edit the same thing so it's a one-time work and you can do it for all the groups so